Welcome to another video. I'm Rena Wells. I am a medicine woman. I am a clear channel for plants. I speak to their souls and their spirits. Yes, plants have souls and spirits too. And today I'm going to be talking about karmic cycles, dark energies, and spirit is really bringing through a lot of messages in regards to for divine feminine energies because it is the divine feminine energy that's currently working on moving into a brand new vibration, which is the age of Aquarius, and stepping into that vibration. That's where we are as a collective. And so if you are a divine masculine listening to this, please know that I do channel in regards to divine feminine energy and spirit interjects the divine masculine energy when needed, but I'm also being told that it is the divine feminine energy that is going through massive transformation right now within both counterparts. And so even if you are divine masculine energy, spirit is bringing through that it is the feminine energy that is to be focused on right now as we move into the age of Aquarius and through the 1111 portal. I've also been told that I'm going to be continuing tarot, which I'm very excited about because I have been reading tarot since I was eight years old. And it is just a, a wonderful, fun way of getting the current messages through, but I won't be doing zodiac readings. They are way too draining and it took up a lot of my time and away from my children. And please know that I am a single mom, you guys. I have been since I left my marriage over 11 years ago. I don't get any support from that side of the family, nor my own family because they don't even live in Canada. Um, so I'm pretty much on my own on my path and I have been for most of my life. And so please know that the balancing aspect for me and why I've been away from this channel has been very difficult. You know, I don't have my parents here in Canada to help. I don't have anybody. So it's been me and God and, uh, yeah, but it's been like that for a reason. And I know where I'm going is a very pure energy. I know the connection with my twin flame is very pure. It's very childlike. It's very innocent. It's very divine. And so this new energy that's coming in, I know I'm here to help usher that in. And so thank you for all of your patience. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I know you've been divinely guided here. And I work with highly awakened old souls, people that are really stepping into their path into the age of Aquarius and that are here to anchor down these high vibrations to usher in a new way of living. Okay, so let's get started with the channeled messages. Perfect. We're going to start with karmic cycles. And so this is the part two that is left off from part one. So if you haven't listened to part one, I would highly suggest listening to that first. I will link the video down below. So let's start with karmic cycles. Spirit is saying, everyone that's listening to this is a very advanced soul. And so I'm not going to go into the explanations that karmic cycles can uh, start from eons ago and that you're only healing a karmic cycle from eons ago. Spirit just wants to bring in that recognition that your past lives are very significant and the memories and the triggers that you're having in this life is not just from this lifetime. And so spirit is wanting to really bring through that everything that you're experiencing and the triggers are not just from this lifetime. We are hitting the age of Aquarius. We are hitting a new vibration, a new way of living. And that is why it's so important, especially when you're on the twin flame journey, that there are very advanced souls that have already been awakened, that are here, that have a purity of divinity that has not quite been fully realized in this world. And we have seen, again, our greatest teachers like Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Shiva and Pravati and all those other twin flames that we I have mentioned before, I believe in part one, that a lot of these ancient pathways are now getting ready on the earth plane to be reactivated 
and aligned to the next level of divine pure energy that's coming in that's going to shift us into a new way of living. And so Spirit's just bringing through that when you get visions and memories and uh, things that come into your third eye, do not dismiss those images. Spirit is really bringing through to trust your imagination. Creative force energy comes through so many channels in our world through movies and books and stories and music and again nothing has been a new teaching everything is just coming through a different form of expression and so this form of expression is very important including within yourself so if you are getting pulled to a vision or you had a dream about something pay very close attention to the visualizations that you're getting, they're real. Spirit just wants to reiterate that to you so that you can start owning your power and your empathic and psychic abilities. There are a lot of very deep, sensitive people that are out there that are very stuck in the bottom depths and the darkness of the matrix. And this is why I'm here because I have walked those trenches, you guys. Uh, I've been prepped my whole life to help you guys get into your pure energy and it's the reason why those highly sensitive people that have walked the darkest of the trenches are ready to rise up because you can't come into pure divine light until you've had massive amounts of trauma. And unfortunately, in this 3D world, we had to continue to fall in consciousness in order to recognize the frequency of purity that you're holding. Now, Spirit is also bringing through that nothing is more pure than something else. Whatever you are being called and the stream and your placement, again, this is why it's very important to listen to the first to the first uh, video because the placement is very important. There's no such thing as levels. It's the amount of quantity of energy, of pure energy that your blueprint and your soul is able to handle based on your karmic cycles that you are currently realizing in this lifetime through your visions, through your dream state, through your intuition, and to trust those energies. And as those energies continue to keep coming through, that you can either start journaling about them and to notice the synchronicities as it's pulling you into a deeper way of living from the inside out, from your feelings and the intuitive space instead of the mind. And that's why these karmic cycles are very important. So Spirit is going to bring up the karma now in regards to your twin flame journey. They're bringing through that we're going to first start with the difference between soulmate karmic connections and twin flames. And Spirit says we're not going to get into all these different labels of relationships. It's either a twin flame or it's not. They want to make it very clear that whatever labels that we have that's outside of a twin flame box is that it doesn't matter. Spirit says that they're all learning tools and those that are on the twin flame journey, you know the purity of this connection and you know the magic that comes with that connection, that it's something unexplainable that many people will not understand your path. And this is why it's also very important, Spirit is saying, to keep your connection very uh, to yourself. You know, when you start inviting other energies in and Spirit is saying, this is another reason why I had to stop the Zodiac readings. It was bringing way too much other energies into me and my connection with my twin on the inside because it's a pure connection. When you connect to God, you're connected to your twin. There's no difference, Spirit is saying. When you are connected to God, you are connected to your twin. When you are connected to yourself within yourself, you are connected to your twin. There is no separation. And that's the main difference between twins and other relationships, other types of connections, is that the other connections is compromising. It is not a clear mirror that you have to wait for somebody else to grow, to come into their realization so that the other person can level up to your frequency. Thank you. And so Spirit is saying all those other relationships that you've had outside of your twin flame journey this is the main difference with karmic energy. Karma, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying karma is not bad. Karma is the law of attraction and work. It is life force energy working through its basic cycles, like how we have different seasons, how the earth and nature constantly shifts from death to rebirth. 
And this constant cycle happens with karmic soulmate connections. We have, for instance, two people who are in a soulmate karmic relationship and those cycles started eons ago and are coming into reconciliation, a type of understanding in this lifetime. And depending on whatever that point of law of attraction and the energy that was brought forth in that time has taken this long to come to this point in order to hit pure connection. So if you are in a karmic situation or your twin is in a karmic situation, Spirit is saying this is how those connections work. And I'm sure you have realized in yourself, especially if you're on this journey, you are recognizing why it is difficult to be in other relationships other than your twin. And we're going to, Spirit says, we're going to get into that aspect of relationship wise and how to move into greater connection within yourself in your twin flame journey. But first, we're going to start with the karmic energies. And so if your twin is in a karmic situation, this is what happens with those two souls. We have your twin with a karmic. And so spirit is saying, as I'm pulling the energy right now, is when, thank you, when twins first get into a karmic situation, it is completely for growth. And we understand that. And these cycles are playing out from eons ago. And that's why the attraction is so intense, right? Again, you've got to listen to part one of the video that twin flames are dynamic connection but it's pure and peaceful and feels like home. Whereas karmic connections are very intense and have all of that excitement, you know, it has the lust, it has the ooh, ooh, za, za, zing, you know, but what's missing is a deep peace and a deep knowing. It's always a compromising energy, karmic situations, even soulmate connections. Now, it depends on where you are in your journey because soulmate connections can very well be very beautiful. You know, trust me, you guys, if I could have a soulmate instead of doing this intense healing work, I would take that. Thank you. But obviously I didn't choose that in this life. So um, if you've seen my recent post on the community board about the portal twin flame reading that I'm going to be bringing out, like I can't even eat bacon anymore. Like this is, this is my life now. So um, yeah. And so spirits bring me back to... <laughs> they're like don't get off track Rena. okay so we're gonna go back to like this compromising back and forth energy and with soulmates and it can work and so how it works is you know it's a growth process or something of an expansion and it grows very differently than how twin flames grow okay soulmates and karmic situations grow because one person levels up and then they have to wait for the other to level up and if they're a true soulmate connection, yeah, that happens and it can mimic a twin flame connection. The difference is twin flames feel the other person on the inside and can recognize when something has cleared. And it's not that you can't feel that with a soulmate, but it's the level and the intensity. Thank you, spirit. It's not as profound. Okay. It will be a mental recognition. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying you'll have a mental recognition in a soulmate connection because based on your other soulmate connections, you can read, Spirit is saying, the exterior surface reaction. So soulmates are able to read energy based on the physical manifestation. They're able to read the eyes, read the gestures, read the body language, okay? And, and karmic and soulmate relationships feel that energy from the outside, pull it within themselves, and then get the messages that they need. So you see everything as from the outside first with a karmic and soulmate connection. And then it becomes compromising because you're pulling energy based on actions, conversations that you're having based on body language and body language stimulus and you know especially when you're a trauma survivor I've recognized this in myself that part of reading energy first starts with the exterior world right because as children you have to learn how to read your environment and the energy that's created in your environment to know what's safe for you and so a lot of karmic and soulmate relationships read that energy from the outside first it's an environmental connection it's an outside connection. It's how it starts to ignite your intuition. And so Spirit is saying, if your twin flame is in a karmic situation, it's to help ignite that intuition, to help that energy, to help them go 
deep into their intuition so that they can have a recognition of their twin on the inside okay and what happens in the twin flame connection is when they first come sorry not the twin flame in the karmic connection when they when these karmics first come together it's enticing it's hype it's ooh, lustful it's beautiful and it takes them to a certain level so if you can picture a submarine it takes them down 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 to a certain level until the pressure builds up right because the vehicle of a karmic and a soulmate connection can only go so deep it will plateau okay but it's helping both parties to get into an intuitive state because they have to be able to read the environmental stimulus first to move into deep intuition into a pure channeled connection is faith right is when you take that leap of faith and trusting the signs from spirit no matter what conversations mental stimulus uh compromising energies uh, in the connection that you've had and so i'll explain that so when karmic and soulmate connections when karmic relationships come together what happens is you know they have a conversation they compromise things feel good because that's an environment and an energy container that they're creating for themselves now that vibration can only hold a stable consistency depending on where each individual is at and getting deep within themselves and so spirit is showing me that your twin and that karmic the twin is eventually getting much deeper going down to the deeper realms of the ocean where they meet their divine feminine or divine masculine however situation you're in and so that karmic per other person is sitting at another place because that's the only level of depth that they are able to get to and there's nothing wrong with that that's just where their evolution process is but what will happen is that karmic situation and that environment for that physical energy stimulus is holding in that environment continues to tether and pull your twin that twin back up to that environment and they may be able to come back up to that level at a certain point but the deeper they go into their healing they'll realize that they can't stay there anymore because it becomes compromising to themselves but what it has helped your twin to do is to dive deeper within themselves and realize that they can no longer have the exterior stimulus and they can no longer work in relationships in a compromising way if it's not a divine clear mirror because what happens is somebody will outgrow the other every single time when you are ready for a twin flame union you will realize that you cannot be in another situation anymore if it does not take you to the depths of healing and purity now that's not to say that you can't have another relationship okay when you have come to a recognize a recognition spirit is saying within yourself that and I've been there too I thought you know because ayahuasca showed me our mission it's like how am I supposed to do this mission without him you know it was very difficult to even <laughs> work in this twin flame energy I'm like seriously this is the calling <laughs> um it takes you to a deep place of non-attachment in the twin flame connection because to, in order to be in union with your twin has to be complete non-attachment non no codependency no attachment to your exterior world okay so that's where we get practice in a twin flame connection is to completely surrender and this surrendering you guys is it's not even a daily thing it's a minute by minute thing sometimes it's a second by second thing because wherever you're at in the journey the telepathy the dreams whatever else spirit continues to pull you back to this connection right it doesn't matter how far you run you know you could be doing great and all of a sudden you have a dream and it's so intense it's like what it takes you deeper because spirit is getting you to move down the ocean 
to move in your vessel that to train the submarine because your body is like that submarine to know that you can handle the pressures of the ocean the deeper you go into the waters of mother earth right the waters the ocean is mother earth's emotions they're her feelings this is why i love scuba diving because you feel her emotions and the tides of the divine feminine energy. And this is why divine feminines move to the depths first. We clear the way of non-attachment for the other counterpart to grow and heal and realize that they too can move through the pressured waters. And so let's get into black magic because I know this is something people don't want to talk about. And I've had many lifetimes working on black magic, so I know it very well. And we're going to talk about psychic attacks and what happens in the depths of the ocean and what happens with the karmic energy and why black magic happens. Now, Spirit is bringing up that the karma, the karmic partner that's with your twin, you know, they're not completely aware. They're not aware. They're not unconscious. They do their own spiritual work. They have been guided on their own path. However, a lot of these karmic energies, they fit the matrix, okay? They fit the physical stimulus that your twin is attracted to. They look the part, you know, that ooh, physicality part. They have all the surface qualities of the personality that your twin was attracted to in that connection, you know. Um, I read, <laughs> this is bringing up a, a memory, you know, my, my twin, when he first, <laughs> when he first, you know, admitted to, that he was with somebody else because he had first told me that this wasn't happening, that it was over. And <laughs> I find it really funny. Like every quality that he brought up about his karmic it was deeper with him. It was like, yeah, that's my surface stuff, but you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> like, that was the energy. And so spirits bring me back to the, to the channel, um, not to get caught up in that, but they want to, to say that the karmic and the divine feminine, you know, or the divine masculine, however your situation is, you guys are similar, you know, on a surface level, again, at the plateau to the depth that the karmic partner can go to, you guys can meet there right? Your personalities are the same. You probably have the same interests. You probably, you know, like the same things, but the depth is not there because that karmic person has not healed. They haven't even started. I mean, they may have started to go into, thank you, Spirit is saying some have started. Some karmics are transforming in their own lives to realize their own self-love, but not all karmics are doing that. And because they have certain awareness of you know magic and law of attraction and manifesting a lot of these karmics are just tapping into spirituality okay they may have thank you spirit is saying it's a very surface new agey thing for them oh it's fun look at oh i'm gonna do crystal grids i'm gonna do yoga and i'm gonna <laughs> and i'm gonna you know do medicine and i'm gonna you know play with tarot and i'm gonna maybe try and like meditate and those things are good, and I don't mean to mock those things, but when you're a divine feminine or divine masculine, I know you guys know, like, okay, I've been there, did that like 20 years ago, or whatever the case may be, you know? It's like, that's great, but we've outgrown that vibration. And because your divine counterpart is not as awakened as you at the time of meeting, right? They have to go through all of that, and that's why they choose the karmic, is because those lessons need to be infiltrated into their energy system. Now, they grow much faster than the karmic, you know, because twin flames are already enlightened souls. So when they get with the karmic and they play in all of these things, they get the lessons bang on within the first, you know, lesson or whatever else they learn very quickly they level up very fast where the karmic is still their karmic partner is still in the discovery mode and so you see the vibrations are already completely off and so spirit is bringing up that with twin flames just because you know one twin is completely awakened and the other one is just maybe waking up they're saying the learning process for both twins is exactly the same sorry keep hitting my mic 
<laughs> um, and so the learning process spirit is like, is completely exact. Okay. And that's why twins are so powerful because it doesn't matter who knows more. You're mirroring the core wounds exactly in your twin flame connection. And so when one twin levels up, which is mostly the divine feminine energy and learning to step into the new vibrations of age of Aquarius, what's happening is you're learning and that learning energy ignites within your twin and the twin will learn the lessons that they need in order to move about. It depends if they're masculine or feminine to move about the earth plane or to move about in their intuition. However, that guides them. Okay, they will learn because both energies are complementary, and so the twins learn at the exact same rate. And I cannot reiterate this over and over again, it's very important because me being as intuitive as I am, I've had ego around my gifts. Trust me, I've had premonitions, I've been able to tell premonitions years ahead. Okay, I have read energies and it's come out like a year later and people will call me back and be like oh my god Rena, you were so right and i'm like i know like i'm sorry i know you didn't want to hear it at the time but i'm sorry like that's what i got but the thing is okay the learning energies i i, I had such an ego because i was like oh he's just woken up two years ago like whatever like this is never gonna work um I realized that I'm slow in my process. Spirit made sure of that. After we went into separation, Spirit showed me how slow I was to integrate. And I'm like, oh, okay, that was my ego. So I had to be broken as well, you guys, you know? You do, because you mirror exactly with your twin flame. There is no difference in that. You learn at the same rate, you reflect at the same rate. And what's happening with the twin flames is we tend to get stuck in the separation piece because we think, oh my God, like here I am so advanced and I'm doing all this work. And what are they off? Like with this karmic having fun, like doing whatever, whatever they're doing, you know, and this is why it's so important. Uh, to go deep within yourself and not to look at the 3D manifestations, but to go deep within yourself to keep going into and trusting your intuition. Because this connection with your twin flame has nothing to do with exterior stimulus. It has nothing to do with what you're getting from the outside of yourself. It has everything to do within yourself. And so if God is guiding you, spirit is guiding you on the inside to do something and you're listening and you're following and you're being humble to your calling and you're crying and you're grieving and you're healing and you're moving through those things, just realize your twin is doing the exact same thing. They may not be purging at the same time as you, but something is shifting within themselves as they gather information from their karmic situation, because that's what they need right now. That's why they're in a karmic situation is to pull in the physical manifestations. And spirit is saying, when you go into the energy, it physically manifests in your twin. Okay. That's why when you are in separation, your twin flame in the karmic situation, here's your name get signs from the music, get synchronicities to get that they keep getting pulled back to the connection because the other counterpart is doing the inside work. And what happens, you guys? How does things manifest in the 3D plane? It starts in energy first, right? So whoever's doing the deep it's it's the divine feminine energy that we work on even if you're a divine masculine you're working on feminine energy most definitely first it does balance and go back and forth but to move into age of aquarius this is the prominent energy spirit is saying is that whoever is going deep within themselves to do that healing it physically manifests in the other twin and vice versa because twins go between the masculine and feminine within themselves and so when your counterpart goes within and does that deep healing with their karmic right because they're trying to heal their relationship guarantee they're trying to heal that relationship which i find it kind of humorous i'm sorry i find it kind of funny because i could feel like i knew this from the beginning i was like oh well this is going to be an interesting journey for him <laughs> i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh but it's like i'm at a place where i'm completely surrendered to it it's like we have to start to laugh at ourselves to be honest we have to laugh at our faults and the pain and, and all of those things because 
that's the separation between the human psyche and who you are as a soul. And so what's happening with that situation, right, is that when you go deep and they are pulling in the lessons from their karmic partner, it helps them to finally meet you in that depth, okay? So that's why separation is so important because no matter what, your twin will do the work. So spirit is bringing up twins that are not able to recognize the connection. So spirit is saying, those are for a lot of you where your twin does recognize the connection. We're going to get it now if your twin does not recognize the connection. Okay, so depending on where you're at in your journey, if your twin does not recognize the connection at all, um, my twin does, we've had conversations about it, but if your twin does not recognize that connection, spirit is saying that you're on a slow burn process, okay? It depends on the, thank you, spirit is saying, all the twins are being prepared for Age of Aquarius. And so the ones that have recognition right now to move into the new portal, to move into Age of Aquarius, to move into the new earth, right? Those that have recognition are the trailblazers, okay? And again, guys, it's not a competition, okay? Everybody is needed where they're needed. And I'm going to explain that because Spirit is bringing up the ones that are the slow burn, okay? The trailblazers have the recognition of what this connection is because we're to open up the new energy portal to allow other twins to come forward. And now the ones where your twin is not recognizing the connection, but you are, Spirit is saying is you are on a slow burn process. So as the trailblazers move forward down the path, opening up this new energy, it creates a huge spirit is showing me like, you know, when the sun is peeking through the clouds and that beam of light that comes from the sun starts off small, but then it expands in such a broad light and it touches so many places on the earth. And you can see when you look up at the sun, it's like a small beam at first, you know, but then it expands as it hits the earth the earth floor spirit is saying it's the same way okay there's a small amount of those that have the recognition of their journey that have opened up that pathway and so the ones that are on a slow burn if your twin does not recognize the connection it's because that as age of Aquarius takes off the more that you heal deeper within yourself it will awaken your twin. It is the momentum and the concentration, Spirit says, is what you're building up within yourself. So try not to get frustrated, okay? If your twin does not recognize the connection within you, Spirit is saying the concentration and the potency that you're building up, that you will, what you don't realize right now is that once these new leaders take off and trailblaze that path, boom, it's like, all of these slow burning, Oh, uh, twin flames that are moving into the calling, okay, that your counterpart will wake up so fast and be able to move right into mission, Spirit is saying, okay, because they need all of those inner energies from the collective to build up in a high concentration form before they can move into their calling. And the reason for that is because, thank you, Spirit is saying it's about the children, okay, because there are so many awakened children that are coming that are going to need the perspective of the slow burn because these highly sensitive children that are coming that are being born right now, right? Right now. The ones that are coming through right now are so much more sensitive than any other child that's been born already. Okay? They need the grid work on the on the earth plane to be broad and expansive to help their mature process because we're moving out of toxic energies, right? We're moving into pure energy, okay? All right, so spirit is taking this back now to the dark spells and the dark energies, right? That the karmic does and the karmic is playing around in energy work. Now, these karmics, okay? They're not evil on the inside, you guys, okay? I need to be honest. I think the karmic that my twin is with, I think she's cool as shit, truly, truly. Uh, but again, you have to recognize what vibrations you entertain in your life, right? For me, I'm a very pure channel. I cannot have this infiltration of lower vibrations and people that are just starting their path. 
end to my life. It doesn't work for me. Um, and you have to know your own boundaries as well when you're working with energies. Do not entertain things just because you don't want to hurt somebody else, all right? Or because that's how it's always been and this friend, this person has been friends with you and you've gone through so much together. Spirit says if it doesn't fill you and it doesn't feel vibrationally correct for you any longer to not engage, you not fight and hang on. That resistance really hurts. Um, thank you. But Spirit is also saying that that resistance is also teaching you. So everything is perfect, you guys. Everything is perfect exactly how it is. Because even if it is darker, that's coming in. It's teaching you something, right? And so these karmics that are starting to get into their spiritual calling and discover all these different new agey things, Spirit is saying, yeah, they may try to cut cords and help your twin with, you know, going within themselves, but they have absolutely no idea when it comes to energy work. They're working from a psychological, psychic, not psychic, psyche place, intelligence, like what they read and then what they try to implement, right? When you're in a divine when you are a divine twin, you guys have already done that. You've already read, you've already practiced. I mean, you've already been doing this work. Uh, you are in a place of following the intuition where God leads you now, right? It's different. Karmic partners are not following what God leads them to. They are in a clingy, codependent energy because they haven't discovered their own self-love, right? And they're using uh, new age tactics to ease the mind first, right? When it's psychological first, and that is the first step, you guys, right? We all, we've all been there, you know? We've all been there that we've had to read, you know, um, teachings from the outside before following where God leads you. You know, it's, it's just how it is. So there's nothing wrong with these karmics, but what they don't understand is they don't understand the dark energies that they're that are mimicking light and what's actually playing with them and this is why they continue to feel so depleted and this is also why it doesn't resonate with your twin flame who's in that karmic situation this is why they get thank you spirit is saying what happens in the karmic situations with dark magic right it and this is how dark magic works because the dark magic feeds darker entities and i've had this experience i'll i'll talk about dark entities how they've tried to possess me since i was little since i've been working with this energy and i realize why i had to go through all of this because i see how the dark works they will give you a payoff right and i know shamans that work in this too okay i know shamans that do medicine who work in karmic energies and they think and dark energies and they think it's light um, because they get power from it and the dark energies do give you psychic abilities. The dark has a power, right? And so these karmics playing in, doing all kinds of cord cutting and spells and whatever else they're doing, they think they're working in light, but because they've only healed to a certain plateau, right? You can only work with energy based on how much you've healed within yourself. And so if you're working in a hot, unhealed space, right? And you haven't healed a lot of your own family stuff yet in your ancestry line, right and this is for everybody but again it's not a bad thing right myself included i had to learn to go into those dark places to know how the dark was teaching me that's part of it so this is a lesson for these karmics to realize how depleting it actually is you know because what happens is the dark energy mimics the light you know will come in and you're doing your meditation or whatever else and you feel an immediate release and you feel good uh, things happen in their connection, they bond again, but it doesn't last for long, right? It's not sustainable energy. And that, and then the dark pulls you back in because you get these visions and you get whatever else, pulls you back in for more. You give your energy to the dark, they suck it. They give you back a little something, you know, so you feel like it's true and then you're depleted again. So, that's what that's what's happening in, in the energy with the karmic and dark magic now that energy does come towards the other counterpart the divine feminine or the divine masculine who is um awakened right who's not in a karmic situation you may be in a karmic situation but it does affect the other counterpart right and how that affects the counterpart is to show you the energy 
of where you are to stand strong against that dark stuff. Now, I'm going to give you a little story. Back in like April, I was attacked by something very dark. This is how I know that the karmic in my situation was doing working with a medicine woman i know this to cut ties with me i know i know everything no one's told me this i spirit shows it to me and i had a complete freeze up of my left side i couldn't get out of bed one morning and i knew black magic was done on me and i got a client from another person that i worked with who couldn't help this client who was working with this very dark entity belizebub and if you look at belizebub it's, a, it's it's a very dark demon okay and i'm telling you you guys it made me go this connection has made me go to the deepest of the deepest of the dark of the dark of the dark places that i did not want to go because of the karmic energy of what my twin and the karmic were doing and trying to cut these ties and it affected me completely and it will affect you but it affects you for a good reason you know why it gets you to stand in your energetic power in a very strong way. I now know that there is not one dark entity on this planet that I cannot stand up to. And I thank the karmic for that. Like, thank you. Because it's made me more powerful. But see, we have that recognition as twins, right? We have that recognition that when dark magic is being done, that it is asking us to step very strong in our powers and claim our light and that is needed to move into the age of Aquarius because we're falling further in consciousness, you guys, very deep, that there is an army of darkness. You know, I feel like I'm being shown Lord of the Rings. Do you remember Lord of the Rings when, you know, Sauron is like gathering his army? That's currently what's happening. The dark magic, the dark entities watch. They observe as much as the light does, right? They watch and they wait and they find your weaknesses so that they can attack. So it is up to you as a powerful twin to face it, not to get angry about it, but to recognize it for what it is and use that energy as a catapult. Okay. And I always use, <clears throat> excuse me, this experience or this visualization. If you picture a slingshot, the further back that you pull that slingshot, it's like pulling you into the darkness. Don't be afraid to go into it, right? If you have trouble, hit me up, right? We can we can work together. Or, um, yeah, so Spirit is bringing through, sorry, the slingshot. Pull that energy way back into the, the further that you pull back into the darkness, the further you're going to be catapulted into the light, okay? And your divine light is needed, and that's why Spirit is pulling both you and your twin flame into the darkest realms so that you can shoot off into a very pure healing vibration okay all right i feel that's it for this uh okay spirit's bringing through one more thing just hang on <laughs> all right okay so spirit wants to bring through the healing messages here for all of you okay is to gain a new perspective of what's actually happening in the twin flame journey because there's a lot of places that we get stuck within ourselves of what's happening in 3d and this is why i know it's hard you're looking at the 3d manifestation spirit is saying if you're still looking at the 3d manifestation your twin is still in a 3d place of existence okay so Thank you. Spirit is saying you can use this as to gauge where you are in your journey. So if you're still stuck in exterior stimulus and environmental stimulus, Spirit is saying it's an indication to bring that awareness that, yes, I'm still being affected what's happening in the 3D. Oh, they're still together. They're still doing this. It's bringing up your own pain. Okay, to heal with your ancestry line because they're saying it's connected directly to your ancestry line. So that's the first healing bit. Once you can get through that and you're healing that, okay, this is why I do plant medicine. Anyways, um, <laughs> I wanted to bring that up because it's like a, a bomb that hits you, right? Not everyone can do plant medicine, so I'm not advocating for it, but this has been my path. So that's why it comes up because I know there are others that are interested in this and so spirit is saying if it's still a 3d basis keep going deeper heal the ancestry line now once you have gotten through that you will know when you've hit that place okay because things are more peaceful in your life it's now about the calling okay 
now it's about your mission work and discovering your talent so that's the next level to go deeper now into the next level of discovering your gifts okay so it's that submarine going deeper into the ocean that you are pulling away from the 3d stimulus and you're having more telepathy and connection and trusting the intuition of where you're being guided on the inside and that is the surrendered state it is a slow process you don't just wake up and surrender you know i thought i had surrendered <laughs> two years ago like no you guys this has been a very long process to surrender uh and it is an up and down journey i'm not gonna lie it is an up and down journey but as as awakened very old souls ancient souls that are on this planet we have to learn to be in the dark as much as the light so this is an ebb and flow to know your power in the dark so much that it doesn't bother you anymore and you can flow with it and transmute it immediately and so that's your practice that's the next step you're getting practice between dark and light and getting refocused into your mission work and so what that means is your mission changes and this is what they're bringing up why you guys have seen why my channel has been like I've gone missing in action and all of these things because you know I was getting refocused I was discovering my musical abilities I was um, training to run ayahuasca ceremonies with the shaman that I work with uh, for divine feminines uh, right now we're working on working with women ceremonies so the, all of this um, was refocusing and moving and shifting for me to be able to come into this place so that's what's happening too with you guys it's to get you refocused and how to work ebb and flow in all energies and it is a mastery point and it's never ending but then that is you'll know you've hit that point when the 3d world completely does not affect you and you'll notice and spirit is saying when you're moving in the ups and downs of your healing journey you guys notice take note you may have to journal about this take note like okay this was the same situation that i had last week or that i had five months ago whatever the case may be and spirit is saying where did i gain new awareness this time oh how did that shift from last time so that you can start to recognize your own growth that's very important okay start observing yourself become the observer of everything instead of the reactor to everything and when you are the observer you allow without judgment all right oh i feel that's that that i love how this just channels boom and it's there um so yeah i would love to hear your comments on this you guys um I'd love to hear any insights that you're getting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am going to be doing um, energy tarot reading still, so I'm not fully away from tarot. I'm just really exciting where it's going with it, with the tarot as well, because I mean, it's my divination tool. I love it. Like, I don't need it to read, but I love it. So, um, yeah, so we're going to keep doing that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'm sending you so much love. Namaste. Bye, guys.